guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my April beauty favorites. So we are now in the month of May, which I cannot believe, but yes, this year is flying by really, really fast. And also, I do wanna mention really, really quickly that if you have been watching me recently, or if you have seen the video that I uploaded, it was, um, I think it was titled, What's in My Everyday Makeup Stash. So in that video, I shared products that I was gonna be using this whole entire month. Um, and I do wanna quickly say, I also um, used some new products, you know, products that were sent to me. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll have it down below in my description. But some of those products did make it into this video because I do want to update you guys on some of the products that work for me and some of the products that did not work for me. But I'm not gonna make this intro too, too long, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of the products that I have been loving and also some products that didn't really work for me this past month, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's just start out with skincare. I have a couple of products from skincare, not too many. So I wanna talk about this um, Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil, and this is by the brand Palmer's. Let me just say, I featured this product in one of my recent drugstore hauls, and I said that this product was by the brand Cocoa Butter. So I know I made a mistake there, and a lot of you were correcting me on that. But yes, this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing oil so this is a cleansing oil like it says this is what I use before I go into my um, skincare routine so when I have a full face of makeup on I just squirt a little bit of this in my hand and I just massage it all over the face and this does an amazing job with melting all that makeup off of your face before you go into cleansing your face with any other um, products that you use to clean your face with so I have been loving this stuff and like I said this is the product that I mentioned in a recent drugstore haul it was about a month a month and a half back but as you guys can see I have pretty much used all of this up like it is pretty much empty like crazy but yes I've definitely been loving that all right so I have one moisturizer that I have been using all month long and this is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer so this is one of the products that I mentioned in my what's in my everyday makeup stash video about a month ago and I've never tried this out I mentioned to you guys that I did want to try it out I have tried the mask though by this brand but I didn't really like it because it did break my face out but as far as this moisturizer you guys I have been using Using the mess out of this you can pretty much see that I don't know if you guys can see it but I am pretty much almost in the middle of the container right here now the reason why I really love this moisturizer is for one it is very lightweight on the skin it feels like you're applying like a water on your skin it's very very thin it's very liquidy so when you shake it can see it moving around but yes I definitely love how thin it is on the face I love how it wears really nicely under my makeup so I apply this first and then I go on top of it with a primer and the primer that I've been using is the elf hydrating um, what is it the elf hydrating primer what is it called I think it's called the elf hydrating primer but I've been using both of those together and I really like how it wears under my makeup it makes my makeup look very good all throughout the day it makes it last all day um, but as far as skin type I would definitely recommend this for you know people who have oily skin if you have dry skin this may not do much for you because it is very very lightweight and it literally feels like you're applying water on your face but I like to wear this under my makeup. I don't know, it's just a good lightweight moisturizer. So I've definitely been loving this all month. So I think those are pretty much all of the skincare products that I wanted to share with you guys. Other skincare products that I've been using this past month are my Coors products. And I've actually talked about those like 50 billion times on my channel. But those are the ones that I've been using this past month as well because I did re-up during the Sephora, um, the Sephora VIB sale. So I've been using those consistently. I have been using um, other skincare products, but these are the only two that I wanted to mention in today's video. So let's go to makeup. All right, so let's talk about some foundations. I have been using three foundations all month long. That is the Hourglass Stick Foundation, the Too Faced Perfect Peach Matte Foundation, and the Maybelline, uh, I have it right here, the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. And I've also kind of been dipping into some new foundations, which is the Cover FX power play foundation this is the one that I picked up during the Sephora sale and I know this is kind of new I know I recently just purchased it but I just want to say this has been 
bomb.com. I've used it in a recent video. If you guys want to see me use it, you know, apply it on my face to see how it looks. It was a recent video that I did where I was applying all of the products that I picked up during the Sephora sale, but this was one of them and I love it. So I've been juggling between this one and also the other foundations that I've been using all month long, but this is in the shade G100. And what I like about this foundation is for one, it lasts all day long on my skin. I love the finish of it. It looks absolutely flawless on the skin. It just looks so freaking pretty. So I think that is like three reasons why I love it. But yes, I definitely love this foundation and the color match is perfection like I said if you guys have not seen me apply this on the face I will have that video down below for you guys can check it out um, for you so you guys can check it out but yes definitely been loving this even though this is one of my um, kind of sort of new products but I have been loving this foundation you guys I have found a like newfound love for the hourglass foundation stick I've been having this for a while I just haven't been using it but I have been using it this past month since it did make it into my everyday makeup stash video I wear this to work I don't really wear it like when I'm filming videos um, because lately I've been using like liquid foundations to film videos but this is the product that I use as far as um, foundation when I'm going to work and it is getting a little warm outside but the fact that this looks good for eight hours on the face there's no creasing, there's no separation going on. It looks absolutely amazing on the skin all day long. It just makes me wonder why I have not been using this, you know, ever since I bought it. But I'm really glad that I did throw it into my makeup stash for the month because I rediscovered it and I love it. So I definitely wanted to mention this one. This is in the shade Golden Almond and I think I mentioned the shade in the cover FX. Now let's talk about a foundation that I have not been liking and I used it one time and after that one time I said never again. And that is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. So you guys know this is one of the foundations that I threw in my makeup stash for this month. I tried it one time like I said and I did not like it. And this is in the shade 94 Almond and let me just say when I applied this on the face as soon as I started blending it out it dried like it felt so drying it looked drying and it just looked kind of sort of like I don't know it didn't look like skin like it looked very very dry on the skin it felt very uncomfortable so I may just go ahead and give this to somebody or just throw it away this was on sale for three dollars at Target and I can see why because it is not like it didn't work for me so it may work for some people but it did not work for me I hate how drying it felt I hate how it looked on the skin it just didn't look really good like it didn't look it didn't look good and as far as a loose setting powder I've been using the Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder some of you asked me if I like this better than the Laura Mercier and I would have to say yes but I just love how this looks on the skin all day long it just looks fresh like it just has that fresh look all day long so if you have oily skin i would definitely recommend this because this is going to keep you matte um i just use this under my eyes i use it on my chin and i also use it in my t-zone i don't really put it all over the face because it is very matte but love this stuff you guys and yes i do like it better than laura mercier all right so i know i mentioned that i only had two products from my everyday makeup sash video that i wanted to follow up with you guys on but i just dug into my box and found two more products that i definitely want to update you guys on so in that video i mentioned that i was going to be trying out the new sigma beauty eyeliners so they just came out with a liquid eyeliner in the shade wicked and also a eyeliner pencil in the shade wicked so if you're familiar with the wicked eyeliner by Sigma it comes in like a little glass paint pot um, not a paint pot but it comes in a little glass pot kind of similar to the matte paint pots you know the little glass pot but they just came out with a liquid eyeliner and also an eyeliner to match let's talk about the liquid eyeliner first so this is what the liquid eyeliner looks like it's like a little felt tip um, pen so you guys can see that's very very thin and as much as I love Sigma I do want to say I am NOT a fan of these at all the one thing I don't like about this is for one it dries up very fast I want to say it was around about the second week of me using this it was hard to apply on the eyes because I had to keep shaking it um, and it's just not a lot of product comes out on the tip so the first time when I started using it it was good it glided on very good um, it does dry down to a matte finish but when I was using it about the second week second or third week it was very like kind of 
flaky on the eyes um, so I didn't really care for that and as far as the pencil so this is what the pencil looks like it just is you know just a simple little pencil and it does twist so you don't have to sharpen this at all but it does come with like a little um, a little bitty pencil sharpener on the bottom but what I don't like about this is it does not glide on as easily as I thought it would this really reminds me of the NARS eyeliner it was I forgot what it was called but it looks just like the NARS eyeliner um, it twists up just like the NARS eyeliner and I wasn't a fan of that so I don't like how it's not easy to glide on my bottom lash line and if you know me you know that I water like my eyes water very very quickly and I'm gonna need a eyeliner that glides on very quick very easy very fast and this does not do that I literally have to pull down my eye and apply this and keep going back and forth back and forth back and forth for you know the pigment to show up but it doesn't glide on very easily and I don't really like that so I wasn't too much of a fan of those pencils so let's talk about this brow pencil from covergirl holy crap you guys I think I have found my holy grail drugstore brow pencil and it has been it has taken me a while to find that because some brow pencils from the drugstore they don't work for me they're too light they're too gray they you know don't match at all but this one you guys this is in the shade soft brown and I just want to say it is very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and it's also similar to my Benefit Cosmetics um, Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I do want to say they do have a good color selection with these brow pencils. This is actually the next one to the darkest one. I do have the darkest one in my collection as well. But this one is really, really good. It's what I have on my eyes right now. And I like how I can either wear it very lightly on the brows or very bold. So today I went for a more bold, you know, a bold, deep brow. And I like how I can build that product up for it to look, you know, as bold as it does right now. But this is in the shade, I think I already mentioned the shade, but soft brown and they have quite a few other color selections. So I feel like everybody can find their shade in this brow pencil. Um, you can get this from Walgreens, you can get this from CVS, you can get this from um, uh, Ulta. All right, so as far as bronzers, I have been really liking the Morphe Brontours and that is a bronzer and a contour mixed together. So I have the shade Showman's and I did a full video on this product if you guys wanna see like a full review. If I can open it but this is what it looks like on the inside one side has the bronzer and then the other side has the contour shade it looks very light right here because the lights are blinding it but like I said if you guys want to see a full review on this product I will have the video down below in my description but lately I've actually been swirling my brush around and getting both of the products mixed together and just applying it you know as a nice soft bronzer all over the face it's actually what I have on today and I have been loving this product so since I've been using it more and more and more I can honestly say this is probably one of my favorite like affordable bronzers if you have been on the hunt for something affordable I think these were only $12 which I think is a good price if you're getting a bronzer and a contour in one I just use it pretty much all over the face to bronze it up kind of warm it up a little bit but yes definitely been loving this all right we're down to the very last product that I've been loving this month and you guys know a favorites video will not be a favorites video without mentioning lip products so I want to mention the new Too Faced natural nude lipstick this is in the shade girl code it's actually what i have on my lips today i think i wore this shade in the last two videos i did but this is the most beautiful everyday lip color you guys i have been rocking this non-stop i did a full video swatching all i think it was 10 shades yeah, it was 10 shades of these lipsticks so if you guys haven't seen that I'll try to remember to have it down below in my description so any video that I mentioned in this video I'm gonna try to have them linked down below for you guys to watch if you have not checked them out but I love the formula of this lipstick for one it's very comfortable on the lips they're very moisturizing and they just feel and look absolutely beautiful on the lips and this color I cannot put down I apply it on the lips I don't pair a lip liner with it because I think it looks good without it and it just looks really good and some of you guys have been asking me what's been on my lips recently and that is this baby right here so definitely have to mention that product because it is bomb and I have one more lip product that I have been wearing a lot recently and that is the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb I think I've mentioned this 
in a favorites video in the past but I want to mention it again because this is the gloss that I have been reaching for a lot so if I'm wearing a liquid lipstick and I want to top it off with something shiny this is what I apply or even this like what I have on today if I want to apply something glossy which I'll go ahead and apply right now so you guys can see how beautiful it makes everything look but yeah so if I want a more glossy lip I'll just apply this on top and it looks so freaking pretty it just makes the lips look more juicy more glossy more full and I really like how this is not sticky on the lip it smells amazing so yes I definitely had to pull this back out of my collection this month so I've been using this non-stop I would wear it alone I would wear it paired with other lip products but I had to mention it again because I have been loving it loving it loving it all right, you guys, so we are finally done with my April favorites and hate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried out any of the products. And I know I say this in every single one of my videos, but you guys know I love to get your opinions on any products that I feature on my channel. I want to know if you like them, if you hate them. And I also want to know any products that you guys want me to try out. So leave me your suggestions down below in the description. Let me know, you know, some products that you've been loving as well for this past month. So yeah, I think that is everything I have. Make sure you guys thumbs this video up. If if you enjoyed it make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye